Video 11 is the Color Picker Pod. With the Color Picker, you can click on the grip and it goes down to a pod. You can click it again and it comes back. Just like the other panels, you can right click, tear it off its edge. You can hold down the Alt key, do the grip, and rotate it and move it or move it off onto a second monitor or come back. Another thing you can do is right click. You can stick it to the default edge, reset scale and rotation, scale to 50% all the way up to 200% or jauntify it. You can right click and stick it to its default edge and all the rest of the pods will move away. Now here is the color and depending on where you click in it, this will change to the color. You can have metallic on or off. If you click on here, metallic will be on. Let's show you the difference. Let's go down to zero. This is without it. And then if you go all the way up to 100%, this is with it on. Now what's really neat, when you use the glitter tube, you can see how the metallic works with it, but if you turn it off, you can see the difference. Now if we go into the color menu, you just click it, and you have different pickers. Now the huge, luminous, and saturation picker will be like this and just go through look at them all you've got the tint toner picker which is totally awesome you can go up here to a color range click in here and have your tint or tone and wherever you move it if you want to paint and have the same tint tone, then you'd use this. Now if we click in it again, we can go to the red, green, blue picker. And that means the blue is in the higher arc or the big arc and the green and red are in the small arc. Now depending on where you put this, we'll determine what color goes down here. So you can have a lot of fun playing and figuring out, like if you add blue and somewhat of a red, you get pink. You add a green, you get a different color blue. You go more towards a yellow, less color. So have fun. This is the one with the green picker up here. This is the one with the red picker up here. So just have fun choosing your different colors. Now this is the custom color picker collection and this will come up. Now your favorites that you've used will be in here. This is an empty group. You have your complements which is orange, blue, red, green, yellow, violet. You can have photos. For instance I have one of my daughter's skin that I made and it would come in here. You can have your ranges, the cool and the warm. I also made another group which I called skin and added different skin tones to it. Now if I import a picker and go to say my pictures let's say our rage techniques and say I want to pick this one it would come in Then all I have to do is click on it and it will show and then I can simply click on this and it will come up with a color range now I'm going to clear my layer and all I would have to do is go to paint or I could choose this one and be able to paint it
Now that's how you import a picture. And if you want to create a new one, say let's make a color here that we kind of like. Then we can click New. I can bring it down, choose which I like, click on the check mark, and then I can just give it like a skin light tone, and it will become a PNG image. Or I can choose any one of these. PNG seems to be the best, so I'll do that and just save it. So there I have it. It's taken the skin light tone and put it in here. Now with this menu I can add a custom picker. I can open the user color pickers folder which is mine and it will show here. The skin light tone shows up. I can go out and we have precise custom picker. Now this is really cool. You have a lot of choices. You can go to the red, green, and blue. The red, blue, and green just like before and these will all change. Or I can go to the stint tone picker and have it in here. Then what I can do is change my hue, my reds, bring back the blues, and come up with the color I want. And then simply click OK. And it's there and I can paint. Now let's go into this and we can either have real color blending on or off. It's a toggle switch so just click on it and you'll see it's off. And that's it for the color picker. It's quite fun. Look through it, add new, and in the next video we're going to be talking about the color samples.